Hi everybody, I wanted to show you something I made um, by recycling. Um, this is the first one. It's a tag I made so I could put it in minis. Can you tell what it's made out of? These are Walmart sacks. Um, the yellow one is from another store, but they're plastic bags. And all I did was, is I took a plastic bag and I folded it. And I cut off the handles and I cut off the very edge of the bottom of the bag, the seams. Then I laid it out and I simply folded it, oh, quite a few times down to about a four, almost a four by six. It did shrink a little bit. And then I ironed it. Y'all, I had to find my iron shows you how often I iron. <laughs> My dryer has a wrinkle setting. And um, so I put it on polyester and I put this between two uh, baking paper. What is that called? Anyway, I put it through between two sheets and sandwiched it and just ironed it until it melted. And it takes a little while to do that, but I think it has an amazing effect, and it leaves some really cool designs, and which is what you see on this tag. And you can see a little bit on this one, especially on the edges. What I did was, this is a tag that's uh, 4 and 3 fourths by 2 and 3 eighths, and I didn't want to use all my tags, so I had a piece of chipboard that I had used. It was just scrap, and so I cut me a template to be able to cut with scissors, just cut the tag out. And I also did one this size. So then I took some paints and I used um, acrylic paint in bronze, terracotta, and classic gold. And so I just layered it. And it takes a while for it to dry and it takes several layers of paint and you have to let it dry for a couple of days in order to let it um, really get dry and then also applying enough coats and so then I just mixed in some gold on the tag that is my son you're hearing <laughs> we absolutely love that child he is totally totally awesome so I cut the tags out and then I once they finished drying I took uh, caramel, creamy caramel, and I used um, Stamping Up Stamp. This one is, I don't know what the name of this one is, but I used this to stamp on it. Now I used a light color because I wasn't sure how the, it would take the stamp. And so then what I did was, is I let that dry, and then I took a chocolate, chocolate chip marker, and I just drew around it. That's all that I did to it. Now, I let this dry. You can't use your heating gun on it because it'll melt. But I let this dry, oh, probably about five days total from beginning to end. And I'm just extremely pleased with the results. It won't be the last time that I, that I do this. So then, for this one, um, I just added some fiber. And then I added a pop-top lid as my charm to signify the whole recycling process. And then I just tacked it on in the back to a tag just to give it some more reinforcement. And um, I'm very pleased with the results, extremely pleased with the results. And so this one I used um, Sizzix, sorry, I used Sizzix um, Flower Layers number three and I just put it through my Big Shot. I just laid it, laid it on. And I need another set of flower, flowers, so I thought I would just make you one. So, I'm going to sandwich it between. Oops, let's get it level. Shot. <laughs> we are having some wonderful calling and 
dust in the area of Alabama. So then, I've got some really, really cute flowers. And this one, it just pops out in the center. So, some of them, if it was kind of loose in the area, I would always put my flower dye there because I just love how it fans out. And then I just use glue dots to put them down. And that's all there is to it. And um, I even save the little pieces to use maybe on another project, maybe put a brad in the middle or something. And then all I did was use the glue dots and then added some bling and some fiber. That's it. That's all I did to them. And this was so much fun to make. I'm just extremely pleased. And um, I love the effect that the paper gives as well as the gold. I just thought it was incredible. I did the gold last, by the way. If you have any questions or would you like to see me make one from beginning to end, just let me know. Um, I just thought this would be a fun project. I even thought about doing maybe a Ustream show doing this particular project. So give me some feedback and let me know what you think. And um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, great day. Thanks.